All right, and we are back on my end. Okay. Uh, yeah. So maybe one day I will bulldoze the soap production. <laughs> the soap gods have served their purpose. We like to think independently. Oh, shut up, Jean. Actually, speaking of him, what are we at on our ceasefires? Ten minutes for you Anne. Know, still, minutes. there's still a newspaper for you to review. Oh, I completely forgot about it. it. Um, okay, that so we're going to do that. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, not that one. I that one. Can be there we go. Like... Surely these after all papers are for drumming oh, up. Censorship is not always. Oh, yes. The uh, the minus the minus twenty percent goods consumption consumption is very nice. What I um what I notice uh, especially when you have investors using propaganda then really reduces the happiness of the influence bonus. Oh yeah, but I just I uh, I have I have a bunch of items that increase keep uh, sets. That's one of the words I'm looking for. I have like different cultural sets and stuff to increase happiness. To counter the in the decrease from using propaganda, they're just gonna have to live with it. I like my propaganda. Yeah, but most AIs don't like that. Maybe Barry O'Mara would actually like you. <laughs> she probably would. Where are you going with the halibut? To District One to build a commute up here. There. Oh. Didn't you workers. listen to me at all? No, not really. <laughs> Maybe a little bit. Ceasefire has ended. I feel like I have to modify the message even further. <laughs> F you squared. <laughs> see. Can I... I'm here hmm. if you ever need sales. Get the uh, actually yeah new world. What's going on down here? Is he ever going to make it down? He finally did. Thank God. I what, love the this. The kebab envoy. Yeah, the kebab envoy. I told Which... you like literally 20 minutes ago that he arrived. Oh, I thought you said he had not arrived yet, and then I completely forgot about him. Stations. Well, let me grab this timber off there, then you can have your <sighs> ship back. I forget about things. Okay, you can have your envoy back now. But she's key. I don't need it right now. Oh, okay. I do. I need to make tortillas. Oh, I don't have corn on this island. Crap. <laughs> Damn. Slight oversight. Okay, I have corn on that island, and... Okay, so I have corn on this island. And I do have a hundred extra workers. That'll work for me. One minute, so I need at least three corn farms. I don't... Why is life so hard? Only because it you make it hard. Give me this shit. Okay, phrasing. No. I hate <laughs> escort. I hate escort missions with a passion. Oh, and I thought we know what's supposed to, uh, as a, to be in reaction to what I just said. Oh, no, I couldn't hear you. What'd you say? What'd you say? Oh, nothing. When you were like, uh, you were like, oh, why is life so hard? And I was like, oh, only if you make it hard. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Okay. Let's see. Got ships everywhere I'm trying to deal with here. Okay, so buy all the timber from Archibald. Bring that back down. Oh my god, I will need to. I will have to produce so much beer on my worker island. Probably on another island. No less than we deserve. Honestly, you don't. I mean, I don't. I quit making beer all right, for people. All right, all right, but you are upgrading your people also to engineers. They don't need beer anymore. Well, they don't huh. need... The workers don't need beer. You only lose three happiness from not supplying it to them. I'm thinking in money. It's... It, it's... Trust me. You don't need to supply them beer. We'll be fine. I promise. Promise. You don't... They'll be fine without the beer. And we'll be fine monetarily so without the beer. Someone. My people need beer. District 1 shall forever have beer. Okay. I, I find it a complete waste, honestly. But, but 
have you ever seen the beauty of my beer layout? Yeah, but it takes up so much room for... But beer! Nothing! You're currently shitting on my nationality, aren't you? <laughs> I think it might be. <laughs> Dang it, I thought I was gonna... Oh no, well, that was last episode. I wasn't gonna insult, insult any nationalities. We're in a whole new episode now. <laughs> it's a whole new ball game now here. <laughs> oh, fucking racist. <laughs> oh, I am not. Now, giving beer to artisans is different because that's a lot more money. You say we don't need beer. I feel offended by that <laughs> statement. <laughs> I heard that is how it works in your country. I feel offended and then, and then everyone will try to make it a better world. <laughs> uh, I keep trying to hit the damn fast forward button and it doesn't exist in co-op Fails. yeah it's sad <laughs> it is it's very frustrating i'm like i just want to just want to make the ship so hurry up sad. and get down there ready. okay there now i can get some corn going i think soon we will have enough farmers we we'll probably have more farmers than we'll ever need we have very different play styles. I don't know. I still think that's more farmers <laughs> than any one person ever needs. So, how's Georgie doing? I don't know. I haven't been paying one attention square to him. Of engineers. He's got what? One square of engineers. One square. We have a few one more. District. Trying to get all the farmers upgraded first. Okay, so there's Stations. some corn. Bring that back over here. I like how the game is saying George has bought shares on your island. No, it's not my island. It's his. <laughs> Don't you cut in, you slippery fish. You know how the um, how the share mechanic Ready works in multiplayer? Usually, when people are not playing in co-op. Um, no. Actually, buying shares from an enemy player is a really, really evil method to make the life harder for him, because the money that you are getting is actually what he has to pay extra per um, production facility. Huh. I did not know that. So. For each share that you are buying, these facilities get 20% more expensive. Huh. In maintenance. Yeah, I did not know that. So when the enemy has uh, is building like me and having dedicated industry islands, you just need to buy the share from them, from those islands, to make his life incredibly hard. Huh. Good to know. Okay. The Obreros have burritos now. And I almost have all the farmers. Okay, well, I say that, but we still have 935 farmers on the capital. And in the meantime, I'm getting a new cup of tea. So, all... Ah, and tomorrow work starts again. I wish the weekend was longer. What is tomorrow? Tomorrow's Monday, isn't it? No, I yep. don't have to do anything tomorrow. Attention for the Admiral. I will likely be playing Anno all day tomorrow. Yeah, I wish I could, but I have to work. And also, I need to prepare the next lecture. For the Games Academy, teaching students again about shit, how the industry works, and <laughs> what not to do, and at least stuff that worked for me in the past eight years. Oh, well, it will be interesting because uh, actually I like the students, especially the the current uh, course of game design, uh, the, the current game designers that are studying there, because. Um, they're really dedicated. Hmm. They really want to learn, and uh, it's really fun with them. And 
I I was actually a bit afraid because um, basically when people have a first for their first time a lecture with me and they are not finished with studying, then um, I give them a little motivational fuse. speech. <laughs> And it basically goes like, you can't don't make forget, what's already you are all replaceable. You haven't yet earned the, the privilege do, of master, having an egg. Keep doing it. Protoceratops Whoa, eggs. That is epic. Yeah. Why does a farmer have uh... I don't know. What is she doing with dinosaur <laughs> eggs? I'm not asking for any question. Oh, um, <laughs> we need to bribe her again. Oh, yeah. Let's go in there. And... Not unless we get what's done. It's rare. Yeah. And Jean is up in eight minutes. Yeah. So that is also uh, basically always the first sentences that I'm saying. For the simple reason we have over um, over a thousand people each year who are leaving the universities and the uh, colleges. Hmm. But only like 50 new jobs. So if you have a specific attitude and so on and are just a general pain in the ass to work with. Yeah. Um, well there are enough people available on the market and hmm. i just fear for that from time to time it is just necessary to remind the students that no, ma no matter how good their grades are the, in the first years that is what actually matters to get in the industry yeah. the first two years to get settled in the industry to prove that people want to work with you that they can work with you and yeah, I was a little bit afraid first at the new course because they are so ambitious that uh, they might take it negatively. But no, um, after their first day with me, they no booked additional you. courses with me. Okay, good. Um, That's nice. good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you should never forget that Attention every message that we are sending out to students, I mean, they are still not necessarily younger than I me. That is also the interesting thing. <laughs> <laughs> but um, they are still forming and shaping their career and their lives with that. Yeah. And that means that every sentence you say to them has a huge impact on what they are it's doing in the future. Horizons. And that's why you should always be careful about what you're saying. So what I'm doing is actually a very bold move and it can go horribly wrong. So I'm just waiting for it to backfire one day. <laughs> also, they need to get used to my kind of humor. <laughs> <laughs> Which is also not Ready necessarily politically correct. <laughs> but details. Just details. So, um, the next commuter peer is there. We have 6,000 workers Awaiting now. new horizons. That is... ridiculous. You know how much of a pain it will be to adjust the industry for that, yes? So my question is, are we going that also today? Wait, what? Or will we have a break of three months again? It's oh, it ain't gonna be no. It won't be three. Oh no, no, it won't be three months. It won't be three months. I hope so. Wait, hold on, I, I gotta. I'm very confused right now. <laughs> Why am I confused? Because if there, if there is that big time gap again, and we need to work ourselves into the episode, while in the meantime. <laughs> All uh, goods are being consumed and people are rioting on the streets. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> that is a good thing. Ah, I just love the beauty of the game. And I'm not even playing on maximum settings. That's so great. I also recently bought my ex-boyfriend a gaming laptop so that we can play Anno 1800 together. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, he had such a super old crap top um, that couldn't even run uh, Skyrim on medium details. <laughs> I was like, hey, you emotionally supported me for challenge. so long. Um... How about I buy you a proper thing for your personal amusement? Well, that was nice of you. 
Uh, my, my income allows it. F thankfully, thankfully, it does. Uh, at least at the moment, one never knows how it's changing, especially during Corona. Your um, ship has returned yeah. from its voyage. And yeah, I had that to spare, so it did not really hurt me that much. I mean, I didn't buy him a, a high-end laptop for like 4,000 bucks or something like that. It was yeah. something reasonable. Also using a special promotion at that time, so I got something proper for like 1k. Hmm. Um, the Horizon 3750H, 16 gigs of RAM, and a GTX 1660 Ti. So. Oh, nice. Nothing, nothing overkill, but it works for playing all modern games on high details in full HD. And he's happy with it. I'm happy with it. We can now play together, and uh, well. Finally, has something properly to play on. Also, games that are not ten years old. <laughs> we'll raise a glass to you. Guys. Let's see. What am I running out of here? Where did all my money go? Oh, we ran out of rum. That's where all my money went. I hate rum. I do nearly too. as much as I hate coffee. <laughs> It just feels a bit like the game balances, just... Yeah, just I don't understand <laughs> the balance of some things. I'm pretty sure they also wanted to hammer home how important it was to prepare the proper storage and so on for... for so mass-consumed goods that are produced so, uh, so far away. Yeah. That storage capacity and so on also became a thing. Okay, what can I like do? Like an educational message, but... Actually, I know exactly what I can do. Oh, that's your ship. Time to make another boat. Good captain. Flipper time! Well, if you want, you can also lend a boat from me. Oh, no, no, I, I need a clipper for a trade route, so I gotta build one. Oh, okay, yeah, for a trade route, that is... Yeah, yeah, I'm building something. But hey, I have soon built all farmer houses. Yeah, I'm just about to upgrade all the last farmers on the main city. I'm a bit, I'm a bit terrified about the amount of schnapps that they are consuming. See, I don't, oh, I don't build schnapps anymore reasonable. either. It's twenty-one per minute. That's okay. Schnapps and beer. I just, I just quit. I mean, I use, but see, I use a lot of specialists too. That's okay, another I big difference. With, I quit if I quit with rum. Yeah. Well, there's not a lot of specialists for rum. What I use are the specialists that give, like, just free items. Like, uh, the actor. The actor item that you can put in the trade in the town hall. For any res all residences that have access to a variety theater, so artisans and engineers, get canned food and rum supplied to them instantly. Yeah, my private playthrough, I'm also using such items. Yeah, I have. Yeah, I think I'm also doing in my Let's Play series by now in the new capital, but I'm unsure. Yeah, I've got to go and start finding all of those different types of items because I that is how I get away with not building a ton of production because I use so many specialists to cover a lot of my needs. There's the uh, the Brasari guy. He's an epic item for the town hall. Uh, people with the church coverage are supplied with bread sausage beer and there was one other one is bread oh no, no no i'm sorry if they have the pub need fulfilled they have bread sausages pub bread sausages beer and church if they have a pub i have him around all of my workers so i don't have to build beer and sausage and everything else for all my workers and any of them that fall outside the town hall range i just don't even care about i'm like you know it's it's going to be like a handful of houses outside of the range of a town hall that are not going to be covered by him so yeah i'm a uh, i'm a big fan of specialists yeah which i also have become ended. though in my opinion obtaining them is sometimes a yeah, the the, uh, the constant farming. Uh oh. I wish I could just uh. produce them on my own. Not like Ooh, we can I mean, I can do that a bit with transmuting them have have my wife, nades you. In, uh, if I have the sunken treasures. You DLC. found one. But I mean more in the way like with the academy in NL 2070. Yeah. 
Yeah, I do wish there were better ways of gaining items. Okay, I need another schnapps layout and then the farmers are supported. I now build all farmer houses. Got here, delivery quest for sewing machines. I have some. And a useless mason. Thank you for the useless mason. Wow, and here's a random tourist boat just over water on the back of District 4. <laughs> okay, there are no more farmers at all in the capital. Well, and we have still 4,000 farmers available for future industry expansion. We will never need 4,000 farmers. Trust me, we will. That's crazy. You underestimate my power. You reach a new milestone. Okay, and we have unlocked an item that I will not produce, and I refuse to produce this item, so I'm not going to worry about it. Actually, two items that I will never ever produce. Are you talking about an item or a good? A goods, sorry. I, I call them items sometimes. Two goods. Actually, three goods that... Actually, no, no, no. I will have to make that one. Okay, fine. Two goods that I will never ever produce. A heavy weapons and I just and think I found a very good shot for, um, for, the, for the thumbnail of this episode, the Farmer Island. Oh, yeah? It looks so gorgeous from this side. <laughs> I didn't even get a screenshot for the uh, for the first one. I guess I can go to the New World and do that. Yeah, I d I don't make penny farthings at all. I don't. I hate that entire chain for some reason. I just don't do it. This is progress. At least. Join the club. It yep. seems we have a lot of stuff in common. <laughs> yeah, I don't do penny farthings and I don't do heavy weapons. I also ha usually don't do uh, engines. See, I don't do motor. engines because I'll go and buy them from Nate, but since we don't have Nate to buy them from, I'll have to make at least some. Well, I was I was doing my uh, Let's Play series super, super happy because um, uh, and super lucky because at around episode 10 or something like that, mm -hmm. I actually received an item Station. that uh, all heavy industry has a chance I to also produce steam motors. Ah, yeah, those are nice. Um, well, okay, so those are forever. nice if you have a lot of heavy industry. I rarely have much heavy industry. Yeah, because you don't uh, produce enough building materials, my friend. <laughs> Hold on. Yeah, thanks to that item, I was producing uh, steam motors and uh, heavy weapons. So heavy industry is like the steel works and this things like that and weapons and things. Yeah. 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 See, I don't ever have much of that stuff because I don't need it. And I don't I think it I don't know. To me, it almost seems wasteful to have a lot of heavy industry that you're not really utilizing much because once you're capped out on building materials and you don't need any more. I don't I don't know. What did I build this clipper for? Oh, that's right. For a trade route. For a trade route. Thank you. I was like, why did I build that? And can you please explain to me why that one house is no engineer? Hold on a second. I'm I'm not I'm looking at another screen at the moment. Okay, what are you complaining about? Because that is really bothering me since we started recording today. I don't know, just because I when I go to when I'm doing my mass upgrades, I hit U and I just hold down shift and it's whatever it wants to upgrade. There. Happy? Thank you. Yeah, don't look around any of my cities in my play in my solo series cuz I like mixing the uh models of the buildings. I have like Except I don't do engineers next to workers, but I like to mix engineers and artisans together and engineers and investors. And I'll even mix in some investors and artisans together. 
Well, in my opinion, engineers and investors being mixed makes sense, just for yeah. the visuals. Yeah. But artisans and engineers have so different uh, building styles. Well, that's why I think it's interesting, because it looks like the artisan... That's why you think you have to give my eyes cancer. Okay, I got it. <laughs> no, it's like the artisan is like old world looking. It's very old world. And then the engineer next to it, it looks like the city is being... You know, it's gentrification. That's the word I was looking for. It looks like the area is being gentrified, and you still have some old and some new mixed in together. Just don't question it. You just have spoken out a fantastic long word, and it surprised me so much considering non your nationality. I'm actually a very intelligent person, as opposed to what some people might have you believe. <laughs> I am fairly uh, sorry, intelligent. I couldn't keep it. I had to. I had to go into bashing the U.S. again. <laughs> Yay! We have twelve thousand income. Look at all that sweet, sweet money. And we still have our soap economy. Yeah, and we have one point five million. And I just what I think I'm going to probably do here soon is once I get the uh, productions all balanced out again, is I'm going to let it sit for a few, and I'm going to go start looking for items from Eli. <laughs> then do it. Well, I got to get all of our productions balanced out first because I just did a bunch more upgrading. So yeah, that I... is what I just said. Do you do we really want to do that in this episode? What? Balancing production and consumption. Oh, I've I've been oh, doing wait, that. Oh, wait, that that actually works. What what did you do? Be beer is nearly equal. I'm just I'm just checking the uh, needs of all islands and comparing it with our worldwide production. Oh. So. Actually, the only thing that we really need to improve on is even can food work uh, uh, works. Um, yeah, rum. We just need more rum. Um, I'm buying rum from Kahina now. And beer is just a little bit very close to the limit. Yeah, don't. Actually, you could all you could just stop beer to the capital and not even worry about beer over here. I don't even. I don't worry about yeah, beer for your so areas. Much. I'm not going to worry about it here on this island. I want to increase beer production. I mean, you can leave whatever's coming over here, and my people will have it for a few, and I'll get we get a little boost of money, then lose I it. I said I want to increase beer. <sighs> okay. I know I'm sometimes a bit difficult. Well, I you kill my balance all the time. It's like I I, I start we finally have a nice balance, and then it's gone. <laughs> it's like damn it. <laughs> Leave my balance alone. What was I doing? Okay, well, I need one more sausage. Soap. Can't live on soap forever. We can. <laughs> I dare you. I double dare you. <laughs> Wait, why? Why is this not fitting? <laughs> Newspaper. Oh, what do we got? Timing, as we have a flat lie. Diverting. Hmm. Anything else? Then I'll send it you know down. what I really like about the expanded beer production? What's that? How much it snuggles directly into the city and village. It snuggles it. Yeah, it just looks great. <laughs> don't you see it? No, not anywhere near there. Well, I don't even know what island you're talking about. There, I marked it on the map. Oh. It looks. It I don't fits know. perfectly. It looks very Dutch to me for some reason. Yeah, that is only because of the hop farms. Yeah. Oh look, instead of 4,600 farmer workforce, we have only 3,000. <laughs> only. Okay, I sausage is your fixed. Problem. Sausage is fixed. That's all fixed. Everything's fixed. Okay, other than I'm waiting for cloth to come in for the new world I'm to supply the fur dealer. Materials. Just waiting on that. That means I can stop and go get right some up. sales, hopefully, from Blake. Because I need sales for ships. That also looks so great with beer flooded. over the entire island. <laughs> He's still sitting there fawning over the beer. Just fawning over it. Can't get enough of the beer. So the game wants us to get a cup of coffee. Doesn't it know how much I hate coffee? 
I've already had two cups of coffee this morning. I am so, good. And when I'm... That is also interesting. I go now to the cliff of an island. It would also be interesting to find out if I can actually fall down. Um, I go to a cliff and I can see on the horizon George's city. Hmm. George's Island. That looks also... That is an incredibly beautiful shot, if you ask me. Your pleasure. I hate rolling... re-rolling over and over, trying to find an item. Oh, there's a nice yep. item. I hate it as well. And that is why, again, I would love to be able to produce it, like at the World's Fair. Yeah. But I can specifically request items i mean i do kind of i often find myself i mean i like i spent two hours the other day oh god see this is what happens with re-rolling i sit there re-roll 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 all of a sudden oh god wait i forgot that cost a lot of money we're broke let me just not do that anyways i just um, know wait you just spent Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. I didn't even pay attention. I just happened to look. I was like, oh, God. <laughs> Shut up. Just don't, just don't talk about it. Let's just not talk about it. Let's just do some quests and get some money. Look, there's a quest. I can go do a pickup quest. That quest gives us the money of one minute. Okay, that's fine. That's one minute. I need to drop off this sail for our ship. Shut up. <laughs> Good thing you just got 38,000 due to selling soap. Attention I, for the I have, I, uh. <laughs> Normally, I sit there I, when I have like hundreds of million. I'll sit there and re-roll for ever and not think about it. But I kind of forgot that we only had like one million. It'd be okay. We'll make money back. We're already making it back quickly. We're fine. It's fine. I gotta go pick up some stuff for Archie. There's an, uh, there's a guy that you can buy that... Wow, that even rhymes. Um, there's a guy you can buy. Rather fragile. Yeah, yeah. Produces extra caoutchouc from charcoal film. Oh, I know. I know of all the items. Yeah, for me, the items are still a new world. Yeah, no, I, I know about all the different items and stuff. It's uh, I just haven't. Uh, that's the problem with the items. It's you run out of money real quick trying to roll to get them the ones you want. Wait, I'm really confused. I wish I had now. more free time, then I would also have started with the Stronghold Crusader project that I want to do so badly for the entire time. Stronghold Crusader? Yeah. Oh god, I haven't... Game. Oh, I, haven't... I know! I used to... I played the hell out of that game. I forgot about that yeah, game, to be honest. I'm honestly... I'm just not yet finished with my AI mod, so I'm reworking the AI a little bit, especially the castles that I are building. There's a nice comfortable, to, uh, comfortable tool out there. And together with the unofficial patch, it makes the enemies just so much stronger. Huh. And I believe that I have found a very good balance of um, keeping the characters intact with the Awaken new castles, new while yeah. at the same time improving them heavily. Huh. And I wish I had more time to finish that mod. Because then I could uh, start a project of letting the AI Brought fight each joy. other. Because that is possible that thanks to the um, unofficial Crusader patch. Yeah. That you can just be the spectator while the AI fights each other. Huh. And then I can start with tournaments. Like, for example, Emperor Frederick versus uh, Richard Lionheart. Hmm. Stuff like that. Hmm, cool. And I'm really wanting to do this for an eternity oh, now, but no, somehow always I my job develops obliged. into a different direction. <laughs> Pure okay, is that... Ready, oh, there. Finally, he is here with... Or that shit so is So I here. now framed the message properly. Oh, okay, well hold on a second. I'll, I will go and look at it here in just a moment. Uh, it's not so spectacular. Okay, there's 
cotton fabric dealt with. Um, you framed it. You made it a nice little garden. Depends on how you define garden. It's a dirt garden. It's With a dirt a garden. Texture because it's not seamless. Ah, guys! God. <laughs> you did not make it properly seamless. You can see it even from close by. <laughs> God. You're gonna have oh, to get I over that. <laughs> Somehow. I don't know how. Yeah, I, I just I just upgraded myself from rocks to sand. So. <laughs> An explosion in one of your. Oh problems. really? An explosion. Well, let's fix that. Now was that trade route doing something also, weird? Also, in private, I started playing Sims 4 again. Oh really? Huh. Yes. I haven't played that on God forever. Um, I'm playing right now. Um, uh, how am I saying that in English? A gay vampire <laughs> who has anxiety and is of a political career and wants to become national leader. I am humbled. Okay. Psh, okay. It's an interesting setup. It's interesting. It's a little different. As, uh, it gets he gets aggressive as soon as someone hugs him or gives him or in general just touches him because he has so much anxiety. It is so great. <laughs> oh then that's it's a little different. Yeah, he married his master who turned him into a vampire. Hmm. Oh look what we've unlocked. We've unlocked coffee. Ugh. Yeah. Oh wait, we can't bad. even do coffee until I have 300 abrero, so I don't even care about it. Screw the coffee and screw pocket watches. Screw gold in general. I hate the gold. I hate gold. <laughs> I don't do pocket watches or jewelry unless um, I have the Mister the Mister Garrick item. Mm -hmm. I slot him in and. If you're in range of a Mr. Garrick, you get pocket watches and jewelry. If you're if you're not, then you're just out of luck because I am I hate those production chains. Yeah, pocket watch uh, pocket watches are actually quite easy if you ask me. Though I have to admit I just No no, no I'm not saying the chain box. itself is hard. It's the gold ore mines that I hate. It's yeah, the gold buy mines. Them from Eli. Eventually you can't he doesn't have enough to supply uh, the huge demand you might have for okay, it. Okay, then get gold from the Arctic. But I don't wanna. I just don't want to build it. I don't want to. Yeah, um, I just had a very weird bug. I okay. was at the statistics menu. Okay. Closed it, and the entire world was black. I had that happen the other day. Is it still black? I opened the. I know. I opened the statistics menu again. Closed it again, and the world was there. <laughs> yeah, I had that happen the other day. <laughs> Not entirely sure, you know, how that's happening, but I have had that happen. Oh, but yeah, all this city is developing. You're and we have rum it. again. So what about fur coats? Hi. Fur coats, we are still positive in production, but we are now underproducing canned food. Are we? Um, oh, well, yeah, because about... I just upgraded. I've got to move all of that down to uh, electricity. Okay, I have an idea. I would just uh, at least double the production of beef and red pepper for you. Yeah, because I'm gonna move all of this. All I'm gonna move this stuff by electricity. So yeah, that'd be good. If I can okay, find a limestone, spot to move it. That limestone deposit over there, I'm never going to need because as Taka pointed out, one <laughs> limestone per deposit is enough. It is. It's all good. You have no idea how much you remind me of uh, one guy I used to play with. His name is Carter. He's from the U.S. Why are you always gonna be hating voice, on us? His voice was way lighter than yours. Yeah. And with that, automatically more annoying. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I really like him. He is a nice guy. Uh, he tends to get overly excited really quick. Yeah. Um, but aside from that, I really enjoy playing with him. Unfortunately, he doesn't have that much time for that anymore since he got married. Hmm. And. The, the way you are talking, 
how you are pronouncing things and so on. It sounds so similar. <laughs> Should take care of the goulash problem. Yes, actually, no, it does not. I still need to move one more. There. Did that fix it? Yes, now I'm making enough goulash. And we're making plenty of canned food for a while. If you say so. For the moment. Yeah, we're we're just over halfway through, like meat go uh, maxing out the current supply. Just a little, so, so it's not bad. I'm I'm done doubling the production of red pepper and uh, beef. Okay. Oh, I just thought of it. I need to and actually. And now we have only 2,900 farmers left. I'm telling you, we need them. Oh, that little beautiful fuck you, too. <laughs> uh, there's some more engineers. Look at that lovely, lovely, lovely balance. Dealing with you could be a lottery. You know that usually the balance is. Also, we are getting Customs a lot of help from the festival, sizes. just saying. Um, oh. I, oh, no, yeah, no. bonus income from beer, schnapps, rum, and champagne. Dang it! Um, but yeah, usually I am the one who says the beauty of a city shows in its balance. And now there's you. You are supposed to be one of us who builds beautiful. I do build beautiful. I always build beautiful. But... Trying to keep up with you, I'm, I don't have, I'm not able to because I've got to keep up with you. It's like, oh Keeping my god. Keeping up with me? I'm so fucking slow in this game. This, in this That's what's through. sad is I'm trying to keep up with you and you're going slow. <laughs> and I'm having trouble. <laughs> I'm like, damn it. I don't have time to that, do anything. That is actually sad. I just... Doing shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my god. <laughs> And I'm like, oh my god, slow down. Slow down. Too fast. And that is why you usually should have more building material. No, it's a waste. That's Such a waste. One limestone deposit is not enough. Sure it is. You Just don't go crazy. Just don't go crazy building. You know, Rome wasn't built in a day. Isn't that what they say? My soap production was also not built in a day. It was two recording sessions. <laughs> uh, let's see. I do need another school. People need some smarts. The capital is coming along, though. It's actually starting to look like a like a real city. Good. I mean, I'm slowly. basically just waiting for you. I'm waiting on timber. Should I start with a timber trading route from my district four because there are twelve timber productions? I eh, it don't matter to me. Actually, yeah, we can just make a little schooner or something. Actually, I can't make a schooner right now because I don't have any timber. <laughs> okay, trade route, new trade route. I can oh, and, well, and I've and also been cat. buying some from Archie. From here to there. Ship Hollywood. Well, don't use the halibut. I was just going to build a schooner for that. A schooner has not enough load capacity. It, it, I don't need, like, that hundreds of it. Just, like, 200 a trip is enough. Or 100 a trip is enough. I don't know. I don't matter. Yeah, you have no, you have no idea how long that trip takes. Yeah, it does seem to be going against the wind constantly. Yep, and that is why I'm now also ordering like 10 charter routes. <laughs> Unfortunately, does the game actually share the trade routes between us? Yes, it does. Yeah. Oh, 
Also, spending that much influence on it creates our our bonus. Ready for on uh, ship speed. Yeah. Ships don't. Okay, here comes Attention that one. For the Admiral. Oh, when I'm seeing the naming conventions of all the trade routes you we have created. You mean the default naming conventions? See, I never had a problem with um, remembering which trade routes were which. Okay, my main Let's Play is now working for over a year. I need codes for that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. New orders? I guess. What was I about to build here? I was about to build another pier, because I know we're going to need one. There. There's another pier to handle the Attention, increased Admiral. harbor activity. Hmm. Yeah, I built some, uh, some depots. That's probably something I need to build as depots. Glad you said that. I don't really have any. I have my moments. You have your moments where you, 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 you say smart things. I give you that. Yeah, it happens rarely, but it happens. Indeed. You have your moments where it's like, oh yeah, he has a, he has an idea. Oh yeah, he kinda has a point. Oh wait, speaking of points, do, wait, do I? Yeah, I could probably get rid of one or two of these how fisheries. Steep, how, how steep are the stairs in front of a church? Huh? What church? Which one? What church? In the capital. The front church. How steep are the stairs? And it's about a 40 degree angle, I think. Steep it's enough. More like a podium than stairs. <laughs> uh, there's more also oh, the stair model not properly fitting next to the building, but again, something that you can only see in first person, so nothing grave. More artisans. I just had to jump over an invisible barrier. <laughs> Good thing you can jump in first-person mode. Yeah, I thought it was actually kind of cool that you, they gave you the ability to do that. And one day comes a crossover game where you can import your city and then on mobile do missions in it. <laughs> that would that would be actually kind of fun. Anno, yeah, wherever you go. Bad. Except Isn't that something that EA tried in the 90s with, uh, with the SimCity series? I don't remember. I know World of Warcraft has their mobile app where you can do missions and stuff for, like, they have a follower system and they you could send your you send your little minions out on mission in World of Warcraft. Yeah, I be, uh, what I mean is uh, you could import your city from SimCity and then in another game um, fly a helicopter throughout the city and the game was called simcopter or something and then you could oh yes like, i do uh, remember that one down criminals and so on i do remember that one do you remember sim tower nope oh sim tower sim tower would be the kind of game you would like with when it comes you i could see you playing sim tower have it's you by a... the way ever compared our age because when was sim tower released it was in the 90s right okay yeah i probably did just uh, age myself when did sim tower come out uh sim tower came out in 1994 <laughs> okay you know how old i was back then <laughs> oh guess 10 
Oh, Christ. <laughs> okay. I'm very strong, 28 years old at the moment. Yeah, I'm 36. Old man. I know, I am. I am. See, now that's a nice oh, balance. That's a nice, lovely balance that we've got going. Like, yeah, ah, uh, ah. Uh, I see seams. <laughs> I see seams where they shouldn't be. Oh. It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. But I also see impressive bump maps. But I see seams. <laughs> I see impressive bump maps. But wait, why are both of those tra why are both of those ships still on the same trade so route? I thought I told it not to. Again. Just say the word. Oh yes, you can. On a 4K monitor, you could People also see the celebrate seams your leadership. Uh, from above. Hmm. Yeah, I don't have a 4K monitor. Me neither. That is why I only see it in first-person mode. It's a bit hinted, so here this line should be... Yeah. There we go. Interesting. Okay, I freed up a clipper off of a rum route that I, we don't really, I didn't really need that e Who extra ship anymore. I see seams. <laughs> Other people see dead people. I see seams. It's over. It's all done. He can't handle it anymore. All he sees is seams now. And I'm pretty sure that when 3D artists are watching this episode, they're like, what is this guy talking about? It, proper, it has a different name. Might be true. Might be true that it has a different name. I am designer, level designer, uh, game designer, gameplay system designer mainly. But... Uh, so I might have some terminology wrong in regards of art, but <laughs> it's but it has possible. seams. I, I, be I believe I'm right. I believe I'm right. Uh, was, uh, what we names uh, are in this regard, hmm. but still. Um... Okay, a bit of grass growing into a monument. Well, there's just some smaller clipping error. What's this thing give? It gives plus 40 happiness, so yeah, our engineers are kind of ticked off. Okay, um, that what? cardinal or whatever that is supposed to be, probably some sort of a bishop or something from the Christmas time. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Where are you going to, huh? Walking to the next kiddo? No, that's Father Christmas. Unpacking the gifts? It's Father Christmas. Cause see, he's on his little throne over here too. I was actually thinking about uh, in Sims 4 with my kid. gay vampire with anxiety. <laughs> <laughs> it's just I just can't get over that. It is such a great combination. Uh, um, it's something to actually uh, get in touch with Father Christmas and uh, or Father Winter or how it is called, how he is called Hi. in the game. Yeah. And build a true relationship and romance with him. Wow. Okay. Well, on that lovely note, we're at almost an hour. <laughs> you want to end it now? You don't want me to get started with all the other things? I think I might, because uh, <laughs> I've got errands to go run before it starts storming here. Because <laughs> I don't want to get wet, because I might melt. <laughs> Okay, I'm accepting that as a goodbye note. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. Uh, well, I'm glad that we're getting back into this. Hopefully we can get at least record a couple of episodes a week and keep going because I know everybody is enjoying it. Yeah, it is always fun for both of us. Uh, also, it gives me always the best opportunity to be an arrogant prick and to know how much <laughs> I enjoy that. So. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Well, thank you for joining us, guys, and we'll see you in the next one.